Hey, Chief, you want to come to lunch? Hey, sure, that's great. I beep, 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 beep. All units, Annabelle Fire Rescue. We have a fire at Big Pines Lake. Repeat, we have a fire at Big Pines Lake. Sorry, gotta go. Wee, 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 wee. Hey, I'll come too, Chief. Now, here's an example for you guys. You want to have a little fun? Building some neat toys for your kids' Matchbox play sets. I went over to a, um, a store like Joanne Fabrics, I think it was, and they had a bunch of birdhouses. This is a birdhouse. I got this thing for maybe five bucks. As you see, they need to be repainted. I, we beat the heck out of them, but they have great use. All I did was put some stickers on the front. The fire rescue made the... Um, Put some duct tape up here to make it look like it's more like an asphalt walkway. Put an exit and an entrance in here where the fire trucks go. So the fire trucks go in the back, they come out the front. And this was a simple toy for about five bucks that the kids really, really use and take advantage of all the time. I bought a bunch of these birdhouses. Let me give you some other examples here. Here's one type of large birdhouse. I'll put that back here. Then I, I found these smaller ones. Now, as I've said on other videos, I'm a graphic designer. So I design, real quick, I did this in, in the program Adobe Illustrator. I made houses and then spray painted the roofs, all, all brown, the same color brown. I just put windows and doors all the way around on the back side, but the front side is what I wanted to have a little more detail with. So they had birdhouses, these are little tiny ones. They're more like a decorative birdhouse. They had these birdhouses of all different varieties, shapes, and sizes. So I made a ton of these birdhouses. Thank you, buddy. Mm -hmm. With little doors in the back. I'm going to lay them out. And they all have different shapes. I think these were a buck, maybe a dollar fifty each. And here you have a whole neighborhood. Here, if we slide these things out, you have a whole neighborhood. <clears throat> and when the kids play, they pull their cars up out front or in the driveway, whatever you want, and you can have an adventure and have the, the, the police chief have his own house, the mayor have his own house, whatever, and... You can, you can have the wrecking ball break a hole in the house. This is a house that got ruined by accident, so you can take advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> take it see? He's creative, the wrecking ball. <laughs> this is what we do here. We like to design fun things, and we like to make them real and rugged, practical. You're not going to find little houses unless you go to a hobby store and you get something like this for a train set. You're going to pay top dollar. They're plastic. And I, I guarantee you, if you bought a... Um, plastic house from a hobby shop. You're not going to be able to do that all day long with it like this. This is wood. It's going to last. The stickers, if something does happen like this one, they punch their hole, a hole through the, uh, they punch their finger through the hole where the bird would go in, right? I can reprint this and just put a new sticker right on the front. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this was easy enough to mask off the house and shoot it with brown paint That's that was uh, suitable for wood. So I have a whole village of houses, police department, fire department, as if you've seen in my other video, I did a shopping mall, we did bridges, and this is just, most of that was scrap wood. These, I bought this at a hobby shop for about a buck or so each, a couple dollars for the, the fire department building there. So this will give you some ideas for uh, being creative and having fun with your kids and showing them how to be creative and how to build. Thanks, have a great day and God bless you. Bye-bye.